Did your mother ever tell you that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Then load you up with slices of hot buttered toast or bowls of cereal and fruit juice. Research is now indicating that some of these traditional breakfast choices could increase the risk of heart attack. In this video, we'll uncover the five worst breakfasts for your heart and learn how certain foods labeled as heart healthy could be putting you at a high risk for a heart attack. Plus, we'll give you our top three tips for a great breakfast. Before you get the inside scoop, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Heart Disease Code. We've got amazing new content each week. And also stick around because later in this video, we'll show you how to receive two free gifts on us. Now let's get started. And number five worst breakfast is fruit juice. A morning glass of OJ may seem like a healthy way to start the day. However, having this for breakfast may not be supporting your cardiovascular health. The reason is twofold. Having fruit can of course be helpful, but when it's been juiced and packaged, much of the nutrients that you would get from eating a whole fruit are destroyed. Not to mention you miss out on the fiber too. Removing the fiber and the nutrients means that when you drink a glass of orange juice, for example, you may as well be having a glass of soda. You see, without the fiber, there's nothing to slow down the effect of the sugar found in the orange juice. This means your blood sugar will rise, which if done repeatedly can lead to obesity and diabetes, and then down the track even heart disease. According to a review in the medical journal JAMA, the way your body processes and reacts to the sugar in fruit juice is essentially the same as it reacts to sugar in a sweetened beverage. We'll get to why high blood sugar increases your risk of heart disease and heart attack soon, but first let's look at our number four worst breakfast food, bacon. Bacon and eggs are a classic breakfast food in many households. However, let's explore why bacon may not be the best food for those wanting to avoid heart attacks. Bacon can contain nasty chemicals, additives, added sugar, and is high in salt. During manufacturing, bacon goes through a curing process, which involves preserving it by adding salt, making it very high in sodium. The American Heart Association recommends limiting sodium to 2,300 milligrams a day, with an ideal target of no more than 1,500 milligrams a day for most adults. Having high sodium levels has been linked to high blood pressure too, which increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Bacon also contains a type of salt called sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate has been researched by scientists in New York who stated that the preservative nitrate could lead to stiff arteries. This of course means it's harder for blood vessels to contract and dilate and can then lead to higher blood pressure levels. These scientists performed a cross-sectional analysis of the third National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. They concluded that there was an interaction between cured meat consumption and hypertension. Further to this, many types of bacon contain MSG. This is short for monosodium glutamate, which is a food additive. MSG is added for flavor enhancement. It's known for being very addictive, which keeps us coming back for more and more. And this is not good news for those wanting to lose weight. It has also been associated with causing many illnesses when eaten regularly, ranging from damaging the kidneys and liver to causing migraines and asthma, as well as obesity and hypertension. The two latter being big concerns if you want to avoid a heart attack. Therefore, we suggest avoiding bacon consumption unless you can source a version that's free from nitrates, MSG, and is organic. Number three, pancakes, pastries, and muffins. A stack of pancakes drizzled with syrup, freshly baked pastries glazed with sugar, or large breakfast muffins washed down with a coffee are certainly a tasty way to start the day. However, they're also a great way to start your blood sugar levels soaring too. 
We mentioned that high blood sugar can increase your risk of heart disease, and here's why. When you have high blood sugar, this can create a process called glycation. Glycation is when sugar attaches itself to proteins and fats in your blood. This then creates cells in the blood that are sticky and cannot flow with ease. With poor blood flow, we then see a rise of blood pressure. The result could be that you're labelled with hypertension and given pills to take every day for potentially the rest of your life. Further to this, glycated cells can cause problems in our arteries that can lead to plaques building up. The cascade effect can result in heart attacks or strokes. Another important point to note about these foods is that they contain very little fibre. The fibre is essential for a healthy gut and having higher levels can help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Fibre helps create the feeling of fullness after we eat too. However, with pancakes, pastries and muffins, not only do we not get that feeling, but they're highly addictive too due to the refined carbohydrates they contain. Researchers have found that eating refined carbohydrates causes a release of dopamine. This is the feel-good hormone. Our brains are wired to want more and more of this dopamine hit, which is why these sorts of foods can be addictive and often lead to weight gain. So we have highly addictive foods along with low fiber content, a double-edged sword for those battling obesity, which can lead to overeating foods that have little nutrition. To prevent heart disease, we need to eat nutrient-dense foods that will allow our body to function optimally. We're counting down to our number one worst food for heart attacks, and we're about to discover how one food that appears heart healthy with promises of lowering cholesterol could be wreaking havoc on your cardiovascular system. But right now, it's time to show you how to grab two free amazing gifts on us. If you can't get enough about learning how to help avoid heart attacks, then why not download our free ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. And if you'd really like to understand the full picture for fighting and helping to prevent heart disease, why not check out episode one of the Untold Story of Heart Disease documentary series. Both gifts are free and waiting for you now. Just click the link in the description below. All right, back to the list. Number two, toast and margarine. Toast is an easy, quick, on-the-go breakfast of convenience. However, bread is made from processed flour and creates the same negative outcomes we just discussed with processed foods like pancakes. Toast is broken down very quickly and causes a rise in blood sugar. But what about the margarine? Surely margarine is heart healthy, right? Many of the brands even promise to lower cholesterol. However, margarine could be one of the worst foods to eat for a healthy heart. And here's why. Margarine is made using vegetable oils, which for years were touted as heart healthy and supposedly much better for you than butter. But these oils, when processed, become highly inflammatory and can damage the cholesterol in your blood. Even if they were to reduce your cholesterol level, it doesn't mean that the cholesterol in your blood is healthy. And as some experts are now saying, a better indicator of cardiovascular health is the condition of your cholesterol rather than how high it is. Someone could have low levels of cholesterol, but the cholesterol could be toxic and dysfunctional, and they might be a ticking time bomb for a heart attack. Eating fats that have been highly processed can negatively affect your cholesterol particles. This in turn can damage your artery walls and dramatically increase the risk of heart attacks. Further to this, many margarine products contain trans fats. Trans fats are also called hydrogenated oils. They've had hydrogen atoms pumped into them, which alters their structure. Studies show that for every 2% of calories from trans fats consumed daily, the risk for heart disease rises by 23%. And now for our number one worst breakfast for heart attacks, breakfast cereal. 
Sitting down to a bowl of your favorite cereal and slurping the sweetened milk at the end may feel like it sets you up for a great morning. It's quick, easy, inexpensive, and the packet might even have a heart healthy symbol on it because it includes whole grains and is low in fat. However, what appears like a great start to the day could in fact be leading to an onset of health problems. Breakfast cereals often contain a high amount of sugar. A report by the Environmental Working Group found that a one cup serving of cereals, especially those marketed at children, had as much sugar as three cookies. And often healthier looking brands contain dried fruit. Dried fruits are very high in sugar and can escalate the problem of blood sugar levels. Even if the cereal is free from any added sugars, the processed grains can still increase your blood sugar. As we discussed earlier, having elevated blood sugar can be detrimental for cardiovascular health as well as for our waistline and overall health. Further to this, the processing of grains into cereals destroys the nutrients, denatures the fatty acids, and even destroys the synthetic vitamins added to them, meaning that you're getting very little nutrition from a bowl of cereal. One experiment that highlighted this was conducted in 1960. Researchers at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor were given 18 laboratory rats. They divided the rats into three groups. One was given water and a normal rat food diet. Another group was given water and cornflakes. And the third group was given water and the cardboard box that the cereal came from. Now I want you to guess which group died first. You're probably thinking the group given the cardboard box, but no, the group of rats given the cornflakes died first. Shocking, isn't it? A food most people eat on a daily basis could be less nutritious than eating a piece of cardboard. But there's more to the story than this. Before the cornflake eating rats died, they developed strange behavior. They threw fits, bit each other, and eventually had convulsions. When autopsied, scientists found dysfunction of the pancreas, liver, and kidneys, and degeneration of the nerves of the spine. These are all signs of high insulin levels in the blood. High blood insulin can cause inflammation, which is dangerous for heart disease. Hopefully it's clear that packaged processed cereals can be disastrous for your health. So what should we eat for breakfast instead? Well, before we look at the best breakfast foods, I'd like to draw your attention to a 2015 study on women who ate a breakfast with only 3 grams of protein and 44 grams of carbs. The women were hungrier and consumed more at lunch than those who ate a high protein, low carb breakfast. Therefore, avoiding carbohydrates and especially processed ones may be key for keeping hunger and cravings under control. So for a healthy breakfast, here are our top three tips. Include a good protein source, whether it be from eggs, cheese, meats, or a good quality protein powder. Eating protein is known to help create a feeling of fullness. Add healthy fats, such as nuts, seeds, olive oil, or avocado. Have fiber-rich foods from unprocessed whole foods, such as vegetables or fruits. Using these foods will help to stop cravings, reduce hunger, whilst giving your body the nutrients it needs to keep your heart healthy. So there you have the five worst breakfast foods for heart attacks, plus our three tips for choosing a great breakfast. Which foods were you surprised to see on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to stay tuned also to Heart Disease Code to discover more wonderful nutrition and wellness insights. And once again, don't leave without grabbing both of your two free gifts. Just click the link below. Thanks for watching and have a heart healthy day.